First things first, you know the routine. Chris said he could throw my little net, catch, black it out. So we're gonna see my little fine mesh net. I don't think that's blacking it out, but it's good. They are small, Chris. Right yeah, you might have made the right call. They're pretty small. It's just gonna take a few throws. I ain't mad with a, a net like that though. They're all green bags, Chris. What's going on, my beautiful people? It's been a minute. Hey guys, I just got back from a three-day warrior conference. It's a men's warrior conference with the church. And it was essentially a conference to lead our homes, to be stronger uh, leaders in our homes for our wives, our family, and our community. And I wanted to just touch base on that a little bit. So we can all see that the world uh, is falling apart right before our eyes, right? And there's no, I don't think any of us can argue that. Um, there's literally talks of war, rumors of war, there's uh, economic collapse, potential recessions, inflation. We hear it con constantly, nonstop, all day, every day. But one thing that the pastor really uh, said the, the other week that really resonated with me is that you know, we could blame the politicians, we could blame the teachers, we could blame the governors and the senators and the congressmen, but at the end of the day, the true change starts in your home and in your community. You can be the change and you can start the change. All you have to do is step up and take lead in your home. Bring Christ back into your home, obey the book, and listen, things will truly start to change in your life and you'll see that the people that come in and go out of your life are the ones that are supposed to be there and the ones that are not, will not. So if you're down, if you're depressed or you're anxious, turn to the book guys, jump in your Bibles and I, I actually wanna invite you all to the Warrior Conference next year. I'll, I'll be sure to get out the details. Obviously we have a long time before that comes, but if you want and you need a home or a, a church home, check out Wellsprings in Ruskin, Florida. If you're local, that's where I attend. Chris will be attending there when he moves down here to Ruskin. He's been uh, watching online. But come to the church. I'll be there, probably first or second row. If you want to meet and greet, I'll be there. But more importantly, let's, uh, let's worship and praise the good Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, so we're out here, guys, on this beautiful day. And we're gonna be catching some bait. We're gonna go grouper and snapper fishing and potentially inshore fishing. I had Chrissy Poo. What's up guys? Wow, that was that was really warm. That was warm. Well, his, his intro is already long, let's be honest. That intro is super long guys, but it's important and it's crucial and it might have been what you needed to hear. So I hope you didn't fast forward through that. Uh, anyhow, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my fresh shrimp and guys, it is crucial. A lot of people ask me, a shrimp don't always work for them. That's because they're using dead yellow or orange shrimp. It has to be fresh. These fish down here are bougie. They want fresh shrimp. So you take up these little pieces and you put them on your sabiki rigs. And they don't have to be very big pieces. You see how little that piece is? Very small because the bigger the piece of that shrimp is, the easier it is for them to pull off the hook. And honestly, we don't want to be wasting a bunch of bait feeding them. So. I got my little Akuma set up, Cedros, with the DTR. And uh, all we're doing is sabiki. Chris threw the net twice, as you saw, and we blacked out the, the bait well. So we have plenty of green bags, a few thread fins, and now we're gonna get a few dozen pinfish. Stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be a good time. Hey, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on TikTok and my personal Instagram, Captain underscore Joshua underscore Taylor. Link's in the description. Let's go. Uh, Fresh shrimp, sabiki, and keep in mind, guys, if you're using the sabiki with the feathers and there's a lot of white bait like there is today, you're gonna wanna either A, go to just regular hooks, put two hooks on and put it to the very bottom, 
because it can be a challenge to get it past the white bait. So right now I'm on the bottom. I feel them. I got them on. There's a white bait on there as well. Oh, got the pinfish only. So you can tell the difference between the white bait and the the um, the pinfish when they when they're on the hook. But the key, guys, is don't set the hook right away. Set the hook and let it stay down there. That way the other fish can grab the other pieces of bait. And that way you come up with multiples instead of just one and then slinging your baits off. You know you'll have two. <laughs> yeah, you'll know when, when you, you have two. You'll know when you have two. It gets very, very heavy. All right, so I let it get to the bottom. Pinfish is already on it. Give it a little hook, a little hook set, nothing too crazy. There's another one. I'm trying to get that other hooked up right now. And he came off. All right, going back down. Here we go. I'm white bait. All right, big. There we go. So I got three, two white baits and one pinfish on that round. Watch, you're gonna catch a 30 cent. All right, guys, new spot. There we go. Got a sand perch going down. Tide's still flowing over here. Tide's just too strong right now. Put him down on the two ounce. Probably gonna end badly for me. That fish almost pulled me out of the boat. I ain't making this up. Holy smokes. Two really big fish. I actually thought I had that one out, but clearly, guys, I did. Holy cow! That was you know what that was on, right? Quarter. Yeah. You got another two ounce. All right, so we switched it up. We went inshore. As you saw, we got worked by some grouper. The first few spots were really slow though. So this hurricane, cold front, a little bit of everything's got the fish, you know, in that awkward, weird kind of, you don't know if they're feeding or if they're not feeding and you don't know if they're in the clearer water or in the river water. So right now that's what we're doing. We got a, a trip. Uh, two days from now that we got booked up. So we wanna make sure that we know exactly where the fish are because we've been doing a lot of other things, especially godly things. Yeah, can I get an amen? Hey, so inshore, 
we moved in bite is on fire i think it's going to be even better keep on watching pound that thumbs up button let's go you on chris on any size dang Oh crap, Chris! Oh, that, Chris! What <laughs> Guys, I'm on. Oh, we got a double header. I think this is a big redfish, Chris. Oh, mine's coming to you. Hey, we're gonna get, we're gonna. Guys, me and Chris got a double here. My fish ain't even bad, Josh. I got Chris trying to, trying to do some magic here. Oh, my God, it's a ball. <laughs> Good job. Uh. Chris, they got them both. Look at that. Nice. Let's go. Hey, what you got there? Beautiful. Not bad at all. Let's get a double release on the camera. You gonna bring it down here? Ow, he bit me. No, never mind that. He went. Come on, dude. Suck my thumb. Hey, dude. Ew. All right, guys, I literally turned the camera off. Now I'm back on. It's not a bad fish. Dang, Chris, I didn't even think to have you get a picture for the phone for my gram. Yeah, you didn't even say nothing. Well, I thought you had one on your you your camera. Oh, you're about oh, man. Yeah! All right, guys. Check it out. Another beauty. Let her go, let her grow. They saw the boat and they were like, I'm out. That's a red fish. Is that your camera? Yeah, it's on. Oh, that's a red fish. That's a red fish. I know a red fish shake. Gosh, these things are strong. I know a red fish shake when I feel one. She goes. Yeah. So I just rip this tail off. It's like that. Fish. 
Hurry up, guys. Beauty. Let's go. Go ahead and change out this leader right here where the uh, snook got me. Those snook are notorious for tearing up some long. So, only takes a second, guys. You don't ever want to lose a trophy fish to a stupid error like that. Retie. Give me a new bait real quick. Oh, he's going crazy. That didn't take long. Well, a decent one, but not as big as that other one. Yeah, he's good looking, a little fatty. Bye bye. All right, Chris is on. What you got there, buddy? They are, they are fighting really, really hard. Make you feel like they're all 150 pounds, huh? Exactly what it is. That's on the new same RHD guys. It's my second fish on the new reel. Yeah. Well, it's a good one. They've all got really good shoulders on them. There you go. Woo, skills. Look at that, dude. That is a solid little smoke. You're looking pretty Americana with that hoodie and the net. That's right. We are pro America, baby. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, pro America. Bam. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Love you, guy. See you when you're 40. 40 inches. Oh. All right, guys. I'm hooked up with a red. Oh. Oh, that is a red. I saw one. <laughs> Chris is on his knees, baby. Chris is on his knees. They feel so big today, guys. Something about this cooler water. This is my first redfish on the Samar HD. Oh, dang, that's a good, a good one. one. It's cold water, man. It's got Bam. That's a good fish right there, guys. It's a beautiful fish. Look at that. I'm on, I'm on. Chris, Chris, Chris. Get it, get it. Oh, your drag's loose. Oh, your fish now. 
about pinfish, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We'll get a minute to for a dog. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. This whole water's out of here. I'm crazy. Huh. Whoa, don't you break my rod. I think this is mine. <laughs> that is my rod. Is it? Isn't it? Oh, he's barely hooked. Let that other one get some water in it. Some juice. All right, guys. Wow, that's fun. <laughs> Let's go.